the center of the city, they condemn them and they begin to beat them. The Bible says they get sticks and they strip their shirts and clothes off and they beat them in the city. They say, you're causing trouble. And that doesn't look like revival to us. We want revival to look us. We want it to be easy. We want revival to be painless. We want revival to be free. But revival has never been free. They beat them. They punch them. They kick them. Then they take them to the prison. This don't look like revival, Brother Buckley. This doesn't seem like revival. The prison, it's not revival. I mean, I mean, I want, I want to be free. I want, I mean, you know, you, you know, I want this to be a painless situation. This is doesn't seem like revival to me, Pastor Chavis. It kind of sounds like to me like we're going backwards. And yeah, that's what we were thinking in the, in the flesh. But if you can see in the spirit realm, they take Paul and Silas, they put him in the prison, they tell the jailer, you keep them, you keep them. Because your life depends on it. So the jailer, in his haste to save his own skin, takes him down to the deepest part of the prison, puts him in the bottom of the prison, in the deepest dungeon. Not only does he put him in the deepest part of the prison, but he locks their hands and feet in stocks and bonds. He's like, y'all ain't getting out of here. I got you now. This don't look like revival. This looks like pain. This looks like suffering. This looks like cost. I thought God called me to have revival. I didn't know that God called me to go to prison. And in our fleshly eyes, we can see that Paul had a vision to go to Macedonia because he needed to preach the gospel. And we would say, Lord, what are you doing? They went off your vision, your call, your word. You brought them here. Why are they in prison now? And the Lord would say, give me a minute. I'm doing something. I got a word for somebody in the building. You have been put in spiritual prison. The enemy has pushed you down and you think like it's over. You think it's over. I'll never preach. I'll never be used to God. I'll never do anything. I messed up. I made mistakes and now I'm in the deepest part of the prison. But I want to tell you tonight, you hear the voice of the Lord. Hold on, baby. I'm doing something. 